Mark Stoops is on the phone with us, and I'll just start with this because I heard your comments in the post game. You can admit what I think we all knew, which is when you heard Louisville was favored, you probably weren't that happy about that. No, not at all. <laughs> I don't really want to go in any more detail, but no, it pissed me off. I, don't, I mean, that's that's a complete lack of respect for what we've done. In, you know what I mean? The league that we play in, people people are clearly out of their minds if they don't watch the SEC and what we do to each other week in and week out. And you could say, oh, this team's not this this year and this and that. People, you, you have no idea. Take a look around our league. We eat each other every week. It beats yes. the heck out of you mentally and physically, and it's a grind. And it's a credit to our coaches and it's a credit to our players to finish so, so strong and to keep it together mentally and physically year after year and continue to build. And, uh, you know, and when we get the opportunity to play teams in other conferences, I think you could see what we could, we're capable of. When you first got here, it, Louisville was, was, was good then, very good. But there was also, like, Ooh. there was a difference in the talent levels of the two teams. And this is not to disrespect the guys they have, but I remember look, being on the field for the, some of your early games and thinking, you know, I just don't know how we win this. They just, they're just too big, they're too fast, et cetera. Now it's almost like we're the ones that are too big and too fast. That's got to make you proud to see that change over the course of the last decade. Well, there's no doubt. I mean, uh, yeah, I can remember when I first got there, and they've had some great teams, and it's been a good rivalry. And, <clears throat> you know, it's it's nice to get to the point where we're both, uh, you know, playing some really good football and, and uh, go out there and, and represent the state and, and be good, you know, with both teams being good. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it makes me really proud to see the way uh, we put the talent. And, you know, it, ta- it, it, you know, it always – it takes time. It's a different day and age now. You could flip rosters a lot faster now than you could nine years ago. And, um, you know, the big thing is, is physic. You know, I want to be a physical football team. It starts with the physicality about you on both sides of the line of scrimmage. And uh, that was evident tonight. I felt like your game plan on both sides of the ball was terrific. I mean, offensively, you know, I mean, you guys were moving the ball basically at will. And defensively, after that first drive, Louisville really struggled. You had to be pleased with what you and your coaches came up with for this. Very, very pleased. You know, there's no denying that, that I've had my, you know, we've been frustrated at times this year defensively. And, and there are no excuses. I don't, I don't even want to come up, you know, I don't want to talk about that. But I have a lot of confidence in Brad and our coaches. And, you know, we were a bit shorthanded there for a while. And, uh, and um, it was really good to see us come back. I thought the coaches had a great game plan. Brad did a super job. The assistant coaches and, and the players went out and played extremely hard and executed. And uh, when we made mistakes, we made them going fast and uh, being physical. One of the things I've always liked about you is that you're fiery and you take games like this seriously and, like, you want to beat the rivals. That matters to you. I mean, not every coach says it, but I know it matters to you. It feels like to me with Will Levis, you have a quarterback that feels the exact same way as you, and he wanted this game in part because of the rivalry aspect. I, I don't think there's any doubt. The people have embraced Will and our players, and he feels that, and he wants to deliver uh, for the Big Blue Nation and for his teammates. And uh, that's just who he is and how he plays. He lays it on the line. He absolutely played out of his mind at times tonight. I mean, just just, just sensational. And the same with Wandell. I mean, that guy is so tough, plays so hard. I mean, what a difference maker he is. And, uh, you know, for him to be from Frankfurt and come back and play in this game and have such a big game, uh, I'm really happy for him as well. I thought just, I mean, again, you won by a lot, but sometimes even in winning by a lot, a couple of plays can make a big difference. And I thought the third down yeah. where they almost sacked Will, but he got under it yeah. and got the first down. Yeah. And then in the second half, their first drive when Josh Pascal was able to grab uh, Cunningham's yeah. foot on third down, those were two individual plays that had a huge impact. Yeah, the, the play at the end of the half when Josh sacked him, or there was a speed option, when he tackled him for the nine-yard loss, was also a huge play. It made him, it backed him up, and they missed the field goal. Yes. And then us getting, and then coming out uh, of the second half, us getting the stop, or the one you're talking about, I, I don't remember the exact play when Josh got him, but yes, getting that stop and us getting the ball and going right down and scoring uh, was very big, 
very big moment and a turning point in the game. How is he, by the way? I, I, I saw he came back on the field in crutches. Do we know? He's, we don't know. No, I really don't. He's had um, he's played through you know some some different types of injuries and you know it's guys are banged up. Uh, but this um, you know certainly it, you know it, it you know it has has to be concerned for him because he he just plays so darn good and hard, hard all the time. And I hope it's uh, nothing serious. We'll get a better look at it tomorrow. All right, so you finished 9-3. and three. That ties for your 2018 regular season record, which is the best. Those two are the best regular season records of my lifetime. And now you'll get a bowl game. I'm sort of – I broke it down before the show. I don't know if this will be what it is, but it feels like you guys are kind of targeted towards the Citrus Bowl again and maybe even against your alma mater, Iowa, because I feel like that's probably the most likely scenario. I know that's not certain, but if that were to happen, would you love that? I would love that. I would. Um, I have great respect for Kirk Ferentz and the Iowa program. I mean, heck, for God's sakes, my dad is buried with a uh, my jersey folded up and neatly placed in his uh, casket. So uh, the place obviously means a lot to us. With my brothers and I all playing there. Uh, I have great respect for him. But it, I, I, you know, I think they play the game the right way. Coaches the right way. They stand for everything good in football and do things right. And so I, I think it would be an honor. It would be, be a great uh, matchup. But uh, wherever we go and whoever we play, uh, we'll, we'll welcome the, the challenge. I, well, there'll be plenty of time to talk about this down the road. But between now and probably when we talk to you again, there's going to be signing day and probably there's going to be transfer portal stuff. What are you looking for in the next two to three weeks to finish these class and to kind of get your team ready for next year? Yeah, we uh, we have to. We're going to hit the pavement. I mean, I had uh, I had scheduled visits starting uh, tomorrow. I may alter that a bit because of the playoffs and with you know some things that happened there. Um, but uh, heck, I hit the ground running. I'm in three different states Monday, two states on Tuesday, three states on Wednesday. I'm going to be hitting the pavement, and uh, we got to get some impact players. I mean, we got to finish up this class, hold the guys we have. Um, balance it with uh, what happens in the portal and uh, what we can get and what our needs are. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to, you know, that's a fluid situation. I mean, it's very complicated these days the way things are. We have to talk to some of our players and see what their plans are. Uh, there's obviously, you know, if there's guys on our roster that aren't getting the plan time that maybe uh, could go somewhere else and play, we need to, we need to, we need to check all those things out. I have to ask you this: Fans are going to want to know: Do you plan? Uh, should they assume? Good. Should they assume? You, I got to ask you, Mark. Should they? Should they yeah. assume that? Yet yeah, they will see you here uh, going forward. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I mean, uh, I don't. You know, I, I, I don't appreciate you putting me on a spot like that. I come on your show, and I always, you know, they give you give you my time, and I appreciate. I knew what you, you were. Do I, you do. Made. I know. Yeah, I, I really appreciate you and you, the way you get the. Fans fired up, and I uh, love the Big Blue Nation. And yes, I, I absolutely plan on on, on being here. And uh, and um, I'm, oh, let's put it this way: I'm, I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm on my way home. My butt's going to get in bed, and I'm going to be at my office tomorrow. And I'm going to hit the pavement this week and go get us some players. Last thing, you de- this your time here. You now have produced these last three victories against Louisville this season. Do you ever sit back and just say, just think about? Where you've where this program was when you got here to now and feel just proud about it? I'm I'm definitely proud about it. Um, I, I definitely have a, a sense of pride. I feel uh, very you know um, a, 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 you know I, I just appreciate uh, this job. You know I really do. I really feel blessed because I've got great coaches, a great administration. I love our team, our fan base, and it's been really good. We always want more. I mean, fan base wants more. I want more. And that's what I'm driven by, and that's going finding some impact guys. I mean, you know, if we continue uh, to, to to recruit, I mean, we we're, we're in the toughest league in the United States of America, playing absolute. That you know, there's only three teams in our league, by the way, that have a better record than us, Matt. And yes. those guys got absolute freaks all over the place, and uh, that's what we got to go get. Well, listen, I appreciate you doing this. You've done it after every one of these wins. Good luck, and we will see you, I'm sure, in it will be in Florida, wherever it is in Florida on New Year's Day, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.